G'day legends and welcome back to another episode of The Hungry Hunter. Today we're cooking with some fresh fish. We're going to make up some tandoori fish wraps. Uh, this one's super simple, we're only going to take about 15 minutes and we'll get us back in the field nice and quick. Food is so much more than just what you put in your mouth. It's a connection to both the land and the sea and the animals we hunted to acquire it. This show is dedicated to sharing that lifestyle with you. We'll be sharing simple tips and tricks as well as our favourite recipes for wild game and seafood feasts. Cooking both out in the field and in the comforts of our kitchen at home. Welcome to Hungry Hunter. This season of Hungry Hunter is proudly supported by Dog and Gun Coffee, makers of bloody good coffee ready for adventure. So the fish of choice for today's uh, tandoori fish wraps is actually a moo or a big eye sea brim. Now this fish um, in particular is the first of species for me. I was able to spear it last week on a spearing outing out on the barrier reef um, off of Townsville, um, which I'm super stoked about and really eager to sort of try this fish as I've never done it before. But as you can see, the fillets are beautiful, look really white and clean. Um, and I think that's partly due to the way we prepare it and process fish after we've shot them. We bleed them straight away um, and then get them straight onto ice. One of the tips that I like to do when freezing and packaging fish is I leave the skin on the fillets personally, put the flesh towards each other and then vacuum seal it and it creates like a nice tight package. That brings us to today where we've got that packet of fish, it's been defrosted, ready to go for this meal. A simple tip and trick that we like to do to get that skin off is with a fork, with your non-dominant hand, is put plenty of pressure down, right at the edge where the tail would be. Coming in on a 45 degree angle with your knife is apply it through, get some traction through that flesh, and then level out nicely. And what you want to do is run the knife with a little bit of pressure along the edge of the skin, um, and you'll basically just feel it slide under the flesh, and it'll remove flesh and skin, and you'll end up with a fillet. Um, something such as this, where yeah, you can see the sun's basically shining through that. There's no skin on it, um, perfect, ready to go. So the first step of today's recipe is to combine um, our fish with the tandoori paste or marinade that's going to have. For the sake of time today, because we're out in the field hunting, we're just going to add it to it and cook it virtually straight away. Um, but you could easily do this and prepare it the night before. To that, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil, just a drizzle, and give that a good toss. That white flesh is just soaking up all this red tandoori paste. It's gonna be absolutely awesome when it gets a little bit of a char grill on it, cooked over the fire. So that's all combined now. Each side of those four bits of fish fillet have been sort of immersed and um, coated with that tandoori paste. So what I'm gonna do is just to our hot sort of grill here is add some oil. We want a fair bit as this is gonna be sort of quite hot and warm, but we don't want that fish to burn. And now we'll just grab each of the fillets. You can see that's got an awesome, really good covering of tandoori. Um, and we're just going to put that on the hot oil. Now this is hot, but it's not sort of like what we'd be cooking our red meat on. It's not really, really intense. It's going to sear it lightly until it's cooked right through. We don't want that char grill on the outside and medium rare on the inside. So our fish is cooking nicely. Um, it's been on for a couple of minutes. It's nearly ready to be turned. But what we're going to do is just begin with these uh, little wraps that we've got. We'll just chuck some of these on to get a little bit warm and a bit of colouring. And then what we're going to do is flip our uh, fish. That looks great. As you can see, it's got a nice orangey sort of okra colour. Um, that tender is sort of infused into the fish, but there isn't this dark um, sort of black char marks from the, the grill, which means the marinade's done its job and it's not burnt. We'll give that another five or so minutes. Those wraps should be coming along nicely and then we'll get ready and plate up. Well, that's time up. Um, I can tell our fish is cooked as it starts to sort of just flake and fall apart a little bit. Um, what I'm gonna do is grab these wraps off, which have become nice and toasty. I'll put them to the side and we'll start to construct our wraps. So first, I'm just gonna get a good dollop of Greek yogurt. Put that on the wrap and give it a smudge. We'll lay some cucumber down, some avocado. Got a little bit of fresh coriander. Spring onion. And then the star of the show, we'll grab our fish. That looks awesome. What I'll do is just give it a little sprinkle of salt and pepper and we'll construct the other four. We'll be back in a sec. Well, 
Well, there you have it. That's our Moo or Big IC Brim Tenderi wraps all but done and dusted. I'm just gonna add a good squeeze of lime to this one. Fold the bottom, wrap a side, wrap another side and get stuck in. That's phenomenal. Moo is definitely on the hit list. Um, that's actually blown my expectations. That tandoori coming through is beautiful. Then you've got the smoothness and sort of tanginess of the lime and avocado makes it really nice. Um, absolutely awesome, really refreshing actually um, with a bold hit of uh, tandoori paste. So, Moo, never tried it before, but it's definitely a winner and something you can get around for your campsite lunch meals.